my class, this is going to be a one-page video, and the notes here are going to talk about how to graph a function okay, from a table, except you can see here how a lot of these equations only have one letter, so something unusual is going to happen. This equation here only has an x value. It only has an x variable. So let's go ahead and, and make some points up. We're going to graph with a table. So I'm going to make the point negative 1, and then what's the y number? Oh. I guess when I make x a negative, it could be anything. It could be 0. I'm going to make up another point, negative 1, but this time I'm going to make it be a 3. Hmm. Huh. Could the y be any number I want as long as the x is negative 1? negative 1 and then I can make the y be negative 2. Negative 1 can go with a 5. Okay, So here we have a bunch of points that work in this equation because the only value I need is x to be negative 1. What does that look like on the graph paper? If I go to the point negative 1 comma 0, it's right there, negative 1 and then 3 units up, right there. Negative 1 down 2 is right there. Negative 1, 5 is right there. Okay, do you see what the line is going to look like? Of course it's a line. It's going to be a line that's going up and down. Okay, we call this vertical, where every point on the line is negative 1 comma something negative 1 comma something. All the x's are negative 1. This is negative 1 comma 0. Okay, so this line right here is called a vertical line. Equations that only have an x variable will be vertical, vertical lines, vertical lines. Something unusual is also going to happen over here when you only have one letter. So this okay, only has a Y. What's going to happen? Let's make some points, but I have to make sure that the Y is 4. Can I have a 1 with a 4? Sure. i got to make up some more points that have a 4 in the Y. But how about 0, 4? How about negative 2, 4? How about 6, 4? Let's go see what this looks like. You might already have an idea, right? 1 to the right and 4 up. 0 comma 4, negative 2 comma 4, 6 comma 4. Do you see what kind of line we're getting? Okay, It's not going to be a diagonal when you only have one letter. It's going to be a horizontal. So your line's going to be straight across like that. This is the point right here, 1 comma 4, and this is the point 6 comma 4. Any point I pick right here, that point right there is going to be comma 4. The y value is always 4. So if you only have a y variable, you're going to be a horizontal line. A horizontal line. Okay, and sometimes writing these little points help Remember that. Horizontal line. A lot of students um, have learned things like this. It's called a vox, vox hoi, vox hoi. And the V stands for vertical, and then that's the X. That's the X. And then the, if you only have Y, you're horizontal. You might have heard of vox hoi in your life. Here's a couple of graphs that they want you to write the equation for. Write the equation of the special lines. Okay, So if you're going up and down, or you're going horizontal, if you're going like this or like this, okay, what that means is there's only one letter, x or y, x or y. Okay, so if you forget which letter it is, we can use this graph right here. This is the point 3 comma 0. What's this point right here? 3 to the right and 4 up. 3 comma 4. 
What's this one right here? 3 comma negative 3. What's this one? 3 comma negative 4. Do you notice something here? All of these points have a 3. They all have a 3 in the x spot. Some people are really good at going to the x-axis and noticing 1, 2, 3. Of course, x is 3. x is equal to 3. And when you're going vertical, you have an x equals equation. When you're going horizontal, it's going to be a y equals equation. It's going to be a y when you're going horizontally. So I look at this picture, I know it's going to be y equals but in case we forgot, we can write down some points. This is 0, comma, negative 3. But this point, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the point 4, negative 3. This is the point negative 4, negative 3. So what do we notice? They all have y's that are equal to negative 3. You could also have looked at your graph. 1, 2, 3. Right here, we're touching at negative 3. We're crossing the y-axis at negative 3. Okay, these are special lines. If you have a line that looks like this, lines that are diagonals, diagonal lines have which letter? Is it x or y? They're both. They're going to have y equals mx plus b. You're going to have two letters. But if you're a special line, you're only going to have one letter. Okay, we're going to have some practice in our packet on this. Thanks for watching.